Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, this So this is the, the third of the four uh, uh, Asian themed journals I have done. And uh, this is a full size journal, so it's a big box as well to display it in if you want to display it. And uh, the box is all stamp period paper on here and then some gold and then a, a knob for it as well. So that's that lid and then the bottom of the box is like this and then underneath is the stamperia rice paper as well and the little eight legs and the lion handles on this side and i got this idea for this box from another youtuber when i was searching for ideas so i did not design this box but i tried to imitate it anyway so that is that and here's all the goodies that come in. It comes with a little, this little hand fan, which I thought was adorable that I found at a, at a thrift store. And there's also an extra card here um, from Stamperia with the, uh, the manga style um, geisha on it. Uh, it's a little too big to actually put in the journal, so I just left it as its proper size for whomever buys the journal on box and they can do what they wish with it um and this is the spine dangle i made for it it is attached a little differently than i usually do um it's just with a paper clip so and this would be like a hair decoration japanese hair decoration there's the omomori uh a tassel and a, and a gold lotus symbol there and some beautiful dangles from my good friend sheila there should be two there and a butterfly where's the other dangle the other bead from her oh there it is there's a black gold bead so that is that goes with it and that can be removed so it'll be easy for you to if you want to take this anywhere and take it with you uh i did put uh, a gold stamp here with the word love and then i used just a gold to make it look like a worn i i made it i did some gold rubbing and stuff on there this is uh this journal i did deliberately make from back to front um our back to front because this is the style that you would see for manga and in the Japanese tradition of, of the way they read. Now, a lot of my trims in that are from uh, Sheila or from uh, Georgian uh, with uh, damsels and lace. And the kit that I used, uh, well, it's Stamperia papers. This is all Stamperia, but the actual kit for the pages is Lorna Taylor's. And this is some beautiful trim I got from uh, Sheila. And then this is the... I want the envelopes from Lorna's kit, and there's all kinds of goodies in there for you to use in the in your journal. And then we first pocket here. Some more. Look, there's lots like stamp period gives you lots of little cards and stuff. And there's this beautiful image here. And I took uh, like the end bits that I had, little bits that I had, and I put them along the edges of the paper where I could just to use them up. And also I thought it, it did well for blending in the, uh, in going with all the uh, theme. This is from a book called, I always have to look at it, Footprints in the Snow. It is a Japanese story. This is the translation into English. Some lovely sari silk there trim, and that's a Japanese book um, page there. And this is from um, this is actually a Chinese book, but I love the images in that, and I thought that they would work well in this theme. And here's one of my little pockets that I made here, uh, and there's a couple of little cards there, the origami pocket, and then there's a page from manga. This is actually from a Russian book but on uh, forest um, plants. And I just thought it worked because of the the um, the nature thing. And then we have lots of cards in here. Lorna definitely gives you lots of things in her kit for this. And the Stamperia is just so pretty. And it all just works so well together. Plenty of places to journal and and to decorate yourself. And then this is a, a 
just a nice packed pocket here that I put a stamp period. There's a, another stamp period could be used as a uh, bookmark. And then this is a, a bookmark that I made on stamp period paper for that you can use for either this journal or if you want in another book or in, plus there's the stamp period bookmarks. And then lots of cards from Lorna's kits in here. And all the pockets are from Lorna's kit. And I just stack them on top of each other. And this is the jasmine paper that I made quite a while ago. And then a little pocket there with a couple of little tags in it. And then there's, uh, this means peace. And there's lots of things. Like I said, Lorna includes a lot. There's one of the file folders that you can put stuff in. Postcard. And then there's the Stamperia paper there. Another tuck spot here. And there's that. Lot, lots of cards and places to journal in this one. Still lots of space where you can decorate. And then this is just some... Um, some paper I had, some uh, it's for writing letters, letterhead, and it has it, it goes with this thing. You'll see when you see the other end, and then this is some tissue paper that I printed with some Japanese language on it, and there's the other part of that that's more the paper, and then I made uh, um, a few of these origami. Um, kimonos with this beautiful origami paper that I ordered ages and ages ago because I knew I wanted to do this theme and I didn't glue them in because I felt that whoever got the journal they can glue it in or if they want to glue it onto a card and make it their own journal card with them they can do that but there are two origami kimonos in this there's some more say that's got uh, I'm not sure if it's Ch Chinese or Japanese on there but it's there. That's why it, it went with this with this journal. And that's a washi sticker. Lots of cards to journal on. Tuck spots and places to to do things in this one. Lots of journal space. And there's another one of my little origami pockets. And this is from um, an artist's book for learning how to paint in that style. And this is a flip out. So you could have a secret journaling spot there. Plus you have the card there. And the gold clip. Another tuck spot. Another little pocket there. And there's another letterhead there. And lots of tags. and lots of tags. Oh my goodness. So many. I try to use up everything like when I when I make my kits. I try to use up as much paper because I you know it's it goes with the color scheme and everything here. So I try to use as much as I can and just put it back in as something just so the, so that it can not go to waste. Anything and it color matches everything. This little Coin envelope. That's just see. That's a piece of um, that was left over when I was making things, and I just put that in there so a person could use it to make a card. loves Naruto. Big fan. 
And there's another piece that I had left over that can be used to make a card. And there's another file folder. And then there's the other origami uh, kimono that I made in. I, I was kept was very conscious of the dire direction of everything here so that it would look like everything going the right way. And inside this envelope, there are all kinds of little bits and bobs to use for journaling and pieces of paper. And then there's the symbol love again and a kitty cat. And uh, there's a couple more cards in here from Stamperia. And that is this journal. I hope everyone's having a great day. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm getting quite a few uh, subscribers lately. I really appreciate you all for doing that. And um, I am making it to that 500 soon, I expect. So, and then I'll have my big draw for that one journal um, that I have. It's um, it's a Louis Vuitton. Um, I took a Louis Vuitton purse I had, an old purse I had from when I used to work. And, uh, well, this is work, but, um, and I made it into a, a cute little journal. So that will be what will be the gift uh, for my 500 subscribers. So take care of yourselves. Hope everybody's having a good day and a good week. Thank you. Bye.